SJC Libraries Searching with ProQuest Education and Article Linking In this video you will learn how to use the ProQuest Education database to search for articles and how to obtain the proper links to these articles. For the purposes of this presentation I will use the Callahan Library but the skills demonstrated are the same for both SJC Libraries. From the Callahan Library homepage, select the Databases tab and then Callahan List of Databases. Then click on the letter E. And for the fourth entry down is the Education Database by ProQuest. The ProQuest Education Database supports the study and application of education across all levels of education including early childhood education, primary and secondary education, and higher education. The database supports global study and research, includes thousands of full-text journals, dissertations, and other relevant sources. So let's go ahead and click through on the education database. And if you're working from off campus, you'll be prompted to enter your MySJC credentials. Next, I will enter a search. I'm going to search for early childhood special education. And I'm going to enter this phrase into quotes. When I place the terms in quotes, they will be searched as a phrase rather than individual words. Okay. And in the next box, I'm going to enter play. Then I'm going to select full text, peer reviewed. Under the publication date, I'm going to select after this date, and I'm going to select May 2015. If I scroll down a little bit further, there's some additional options. So under source type, I'm going to select scholarly journals. Under document type, I'm going to select article, and I'll leave language just the way it is. So let me click search. And this search results in 453 hits. In the left-hand column, there are some additional limiters. If I scroll down, I'm going to select location and I'm going to select the United States. And this now gives us 68 hits. So let's look at the article titled Promoting Expressive Language in Children with, with or at Risk for Autism Spectrum Disorder in a Preschool Classroom. Now on this page we're presented with some basic information about the article. We have the title, the authors, the journal title, the volume and issue number, the dates and page range. And at the bottom right, if you click on show abstract, it'll expand to give you the abstract and then click it again to close it back up. Let's open up the article. We're going to click on full text PDF. Okay, and this launches the article in ProQuest. To help me determine if this is a research article, I can read through the abstract and then skim through the document looking for the main headings of a component such as methods, results, and discussion. So here we see a methods section and so on. I would just continue paging through the document looking for the rest of the headings. But I know in advance that this is, in fact, a research study, so this would be acceptable. If you go to the end of the document, remember to examine 
the references that the author used, and you can use the journal locator to locate specific journal titles of interest. If I click on the Abstract and Details tab, I'm presented with additional information. Again, we have the abstract, we have subject areas, the location, author information. Now, towards the bottom, there's something here called a DOI. A DOI or Digital Object Identifier is a unique identifier and points to a permanent address on the web. The DOI is usually included in most citation styles. And then just below that, there's something called a document URL. The document URL provided here is also known as a permalink or persistent link. When obtaining the URL from our databases, you should always look for the permalink to use for linking as opposed to copying the URL from the address bar. And finally at the upper right you have some options uh, download PDF, there's a citation feature, there's an email feature you can email yourself this file, uh, print and additional options. If you find that you need additional assistance, you can use our chat service, which is available on most library pages, or you can contact us via email. For the Callahan Library, the email is callahan at sjcny.edu. For the McIntaggart Hall Library, the email is mcintaggart at sjcny.edu. Thank you for your attention.